so 576 it's a three digit number so i hope this will be quite easy to find out first step is so we have to start pairing up the number and when you do it you have to do it from the right side so 76 will form one pair and for 5 there is no pair so we will consider 5 a single digit now like in this method the divisor will keep changing for the every new dividend we get it is not same throughout the division so first divisor will be such that when you take a square of that number it should be equal to 5 or less than 5 or in simple terms you have to find the perfect square number which is closer to 5 we know that 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9. Now 9 is greater than 5. So we cannot, we cannot go for it. So we will take 4. Now 2 square is 4 or 2 times 2 is 4. So we will write 2 here and 2 in the question. So 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract we get 1 as a remainder. Next, we will drop the next pair. So, you will not drop single digit, but you drop the entire pair. Now, we have 176 as a new dividend. Now, for this new dividend, we have to find new divisor. How to do it? We will take twice of a number which is in the question. So, we have here 2, twice of 2 or the double of 2. That is 2 times 2 is 4 or 2 plus 2 is 4 anything the same so we'll write 4 now along with 4 i will write one more digit now this is very important step with this 4 what i should uh, like what number we should take here suppose i have taken one here then the number in the quotient will also be same so the unit digit in the divisor and the next digit in the question should be same so if i take for example let's take i have taken 42 and here I have taken 3. Now this will not give us the answer. This is not wrong. This is not correct method. So we 42 times 3 will not gonna give us the answer. No, this is not the method. What I am saying is if I have taken 2 here, then I have to take 2 here. So it will be like 42 times 2. Okay, same number. Now 2 is just an example. I don't know the correct number. I have to find out the correct number. Now we have to take a such a number that when you multiply these two numbers, that you should get 176 or the number less than 176. Now what number it is? You can have to do a trial error method or just use a simple logic. We have 6 here right at the end. Now this number and this number will be same. So just think of a squares of a number will, which will give you 6 at the end. So 4 square will give 16 and 6 square will give us 36. So both this number gives us 6 in the end. So this could be either 4 or 6. So let's try with 4 first. So 44 times 4. 4, 4 is a 16. 4, 4 is a 16 plus 1 is 17. So we got 176. So this means the number here is 4. So 44 times 4 is 176. Subtract this 2, we get 0. Now, if you get 0, this means that number is perfect square number. And square root of this number is equals to 24. Number we obtained in the question will be the square root of that number. So, this was simple one. 